got a show at what, 24th tomorrow night, right? Yeah. What's going to happen there? Anything new and exciting? Uh, we're just going to play some of these new songs, really. Yeah. Um, yeah, which I'm very much looking forward to. All right. It'll be like, I've only really done two or three gigs in the last like year or so. So um, good to finally start playing some new ones. When you started rehearsing again, what was it like? Did, did it all come back, like getting on a bike and riding again, or how, how was it? Yeah, pretty quickly. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think, you know, we still kept up rehearsals throughout. Right. Um, it was just really just like the being a little bit rusty playing in front of people, but I'm sure that'll iron itself out. Okay. Cool. Well, I've had a listen of the EP, so I thought maybe we just briefly go through each song. You can tell me a little bit about it, get people yeah. all excited about it and stuff. It begins with this tune called How Do You Know? So why is that? It's been the single, so folks have heard that one. Um, yeah. Tell me where that one came from. Um, so I kind of wrote that one. I guess the, the, the overarching themes of the EP are um, sort of the kind of like the different emotional states you go through in, a, I guess, like a breakup with someone or just like having changes in your life that that lead to those kind of um, stages of emotion. Uh, and that one in particular, I wrote after my, uh, the day after my, oh no, on my birthday in 2020. Um, and it's kind of like, it's sort of about finding, um, that cycle of trying to repress how you're feeling, whether it be with substances or just like, you know, general unhealthy thought processes, um, like getting stuck in that cycle and trying to break out of it, but that being kind of complicated and difficult, you know? Yep. Um, so that's kind of where I was coming from with that song in particular. Pretty heavy way to spend your birthday. Yeah, for sure. It was in one of the lockdowns, so I was kind of like, you know, we, we did some nice stuff as well. Oh, good. Um, <laughs> just like there were a couple of hours there where I really just needed to like spend some time thinking about stuff. Right, right, right. All right. Uh, yeah. and then, we, then we go to every once in a while, which uh, I've not, I noticed, especially, well, I'd like to talk about your vocal in, in that and overall, is that how you approach that I mean, yep. kind of around that song. So if you will, go for it. Um, yeah, that song I wrote a few years back, um, kind of, you know, it didn't really come out of anything in particular. I think that was sort of like, that song for me feels like kind of the excitement of meeting new people amongst struggling to like, in the same kind of way, struggling to like, come to terms with a lot of stuff about yourself but also kind of being like in a in a space where you can oh I'm trying to think <laughs> of explaining this um yeah this is one of those ones where i haven't i guess i didn't really think about what it was about super critically when i was sure. writing it it was yep, definitely yep. like a kind of just like came off the top of my head um and, you know, it kind of all makes sense to me, but I don't have like a, you know, there wasn't like a, like an initial idea where I sat down and I was like, oh, I'm going to write a song about this. Right. That one kind of came a little bit more loosely over time. Gotcha. So tell me about your singing voice and your approach to your vocals when you're, when you're doing these things. Are you, where are you? What are you thinking about? Are, do you have people around you? What's the, what's the situation? Yeah, I mean, I think I think with particularly with um, the vocals on that one, they're very like monotonous a lot of the way through, particularly in the verses. Um, right. And I kind of wanted that song to feel kind of like it's chugging along at the same level through those verses, and then and then you know slamming into those big choruses and stuff. Right. Um, but I wanted it to feel like a really driving song. Um, with a little bit of that, that, you know, kind of that like day-to-day -day monotony vibe. Right. Okay. Yeah. So I right. guess that's kind of what the, what the vocal sound came from. Gotcha. All right. Yeah.
Then on to Stay the Night, it's kind of got a synthy thing going on in that one. Tell me about that. Uh, so that was uh, kind of just this thing I was mucking around with at home one day. And I had that chorus guitar riff, the dun, 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 thing like floating around for a while. Right. Um, and it really reminded me of like a lot of really carefree of the dramatic pop music that I really like. And I was like, I'm just going to make this really short and sharp, like two choruses, two verses, keep it as simple as possible. Um, and just like have that sort of hook the whole way through it. Right. Um, and so for that, I guess I kind of just wanted to like write a pop song. You know? There you go. And you did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah no i'm really happy with that one i like that song a lot cool all right and then never happier has got a bit of a guitar break in the middle or somewhere you know what's happening yeah. there um yeah so we would sort of you know i had that written on acoustic guitar that was essentially just the verses and the choruses um and i may it took me took me ages actually to come up with like a full band instrumental demo for that right um and we spent some time sort of playing around with what we could do with it and um originally it was just going to be this section at the beginning of the bridge and when we were in the studio with joel mahon he was um having a little muck around with, with the chords and there was one that came up that we hadn't used yet and that ended up becoming the basis of the the rest of that bridge progression, which I really like. It changes the um, dynamic of that song heaps. Right, um, right. And I'm a big fan of chucking really big, bashy bridges through stuff. So cool. that worked out really yeah. well. So what, what, what was Joel's main uh, job as far as this? Was he producing, engineering, playing a bit of guitar? What's he up to? Yeah, so it's a little bit of production and engineering stuff mostly mostly engineering um but we spend a lot of time with him just mucking around with sounds and you know uh playing with textures and stuff uh particularly a lot with um a lot of feedback sounds and right. like kind of more like not like synth pads but like pads that sit underneath stuff as a texture rather than as an instrument right um so we spent a lot of time doing that and i feel like a lot of cool stuff came out of just mucking around with various things with him right um likewise in that song there's a bit of melody through the the intro that wasn't there in my original demo and that just came out of me and him putting a tiny little toy keyboard through a cranked fender amp um yeah yeah no it's yeah he's great to work with honestly. Now, where about did you record uh, at the lab and I years. thought so I thought that might be the lab it sounded like it for some reason yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that place cool cool and anyway, we've got one more song something I do which uh it's got a little somebody singing harmony with you on that one what's happening there oh uh, yeah that's um that's Jade uh we got to the end of uh recording that one and I think all of us were feeling like it kind of fell a little short right uh and so we put some got jade to put some little harmonies over the top of that bridge and i really i feel like that lifts that bridge heaps through there having heard it without and then with it makes honestly makes a massive difference but yeah if it, it feels like it it kind of uh ties together that like feeling of being isolated and lonely that that song's about um yeah it, like i don't know it, the, even though you'd think bringing more voices into something would make it feel less isolating um i feel like that almost like angelic quality of that right, right. yeah yeah like kind of exaggerates it even gotcha okay very cool so you're gonna be you're gonna be playing these tunes tomorrow night all of them yeah most of them uh Possibly not all of them, but most of them. Uh -huh. sure. Do they take any kind of different uh, voice or sound when uh, when they got onto the stage with you? Um, I think, you know, some of them a little bit, but for the most part, we still really wrote the songs with 
playing them live in mind. So right. they will end up sounding pretty pretty similar. Um, and we've actually started incorporating uh, track stuff, like backing track stuff into sure. it, just right. some of the texture over the top that uh, I feel like fills out a lot of the empty space around it, especially when you've only got one guitar. Sometimes it's hard to fill that space in. Gotcha. But yeah, I think it gave us a little more opportunity this time to commit to the idea of running some backing tracks and stuff for us to be able to play a little bit more with um, having more layers and stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Right. So since it was two years ago that we had this chat before, how is the band different, the same? Are you, do you feel like different people, or different ways that you interact with each other? Yeah, I definitely think so. Um, we've, you know, all had a lot of time <laughs> alone and isolating just to, you know, I, I definitely think that we've all come out of the last couple of years as pretty different people than when we went into it. Um, and I, I, do, I do feel like the music that we're making now kind of reflects that too, mm -hmm. especially because the last time we ever put a, any kind of project out, um, you know, we we're all 18, 19, yep. and now approaching 23. Oh, my goodness. Uh, and yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and you I need, do need a walking cane in no time. <laughs> I know. Yeah, yeah. But yeah I mean, no, if I've had COVID, I've had to cut down on the partying, and it's really made me feel oh like I've aged a lot more than well, I. Have. Yeah, well, it, yeah. I mean, I know I haven't got it myself, fortunately, but everybody around me seems to have gotten it, and it affects everybody differently. So you know, some people it kind of lingers and hangs in there, and some people are there and gone. So you know. yeah. Oh uh, well, we uh, me and me and Jade both got stuck over in Melbourne, right? With it, um, and we got really sick. Eh? Yeah, it was yeah, it was pretty it was pretty intense. Um, but you know, out the other side. There you go. All righty. Well, looking forward to the show tomorrow night. Hopefully, it all goes well. And yeah, no, so the EP's you. out the following week. Is that right? Uh the seventeenth. Yeah, seventeenth. Okay, that'll be fun. What are you gonna do? Anything exciting on the day? Um. We might be doing a show the night before. Okay. Uh, but on the day, we're going to be driving down to Wellington for the uh, show down at San Fran on the 18th. Cool. Well, you got your hands full. That's, it sounds like you're, it's got to feel good to be back playing in a band again. <laughs> yeah. That. Yeah. Oh, definitely. <laughs> That's it's excellent. so nice. Excellent. All righty. Well, I'll let you go. Thank you very much yeah, for spending some time and good luck with the show tomorrow. Yeah. Cheers. All right. Have a good weekend. Bye bye.